Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to look at a couple of topics, so let's jump right in. Troy Brewer has been on the It Supernatural Network and The Sid Roth Show talking about numerology and time travel, and of course selling a product. Yet it's the same product for sale on both shows, so I guess these two topics must be related. If you're not familiar with Troy Brewer, he's the head of Troy Brewer Ministries, and like many today, a big part of his ministry is the prophetic. He's also the senior pastor at Open Doors Church in Burleson, Texas, and is known for his focus on astronomy, numbers, typology, and times and seasons. He has a radio program as well as the Troy Brewer Ministries TV station with a subscription-based service. And one of the things he has is a school of prophecy that of course you can join at different levels. And there's 13 pages of products that you can buy as well. Things like See the Voice 2020 Prophetic Toolkit. This must be a good package because you get a round table of all the most respected prophetic voices of our day. People like Cindy McGill that has online dream schools that you can pay $35 to attend. Or Jamie Galloway who has Seer Masterclasses for $180. Or Larry Randolph, where you can get products like user-friendly prophecy or any number of 54 products that he sells, such as Blue Moon Rising Prophetic or Activating the Miraculous. But unfortunately, that one sold out. Darn it, that's the one I wanted. And remember, while supplies last, you get a free prophetic word with your purchase. Alrighty then. Not to mention that he's teamed up with other NAR teachers like Patricia King and Chuck Pierce. So now that we know a bit more about Troy and his crowd, let's look at the video, Is God Speaking to You Through Numbers? Because he's going to attribute this to God speaking to us. And my guest says that God often imparts prophetic messages in the numbers contained throughout the Bible. And it occurs more often than we think. Joining me in the studio to tell us how is founder and senior pastor of Open Door Church, Troy Brewer. Welcome, Troy. Hello, Emily. Thank you so much. It is such a pleasure having you today. And I am very excited about today's topic because I know it is a passion of yours um, and it is a passion that I'm starting to discover, and I think that the body of Christ um, needs to rediscover, and that is biblical numerology. Let's start by understanding that biblical numerology is simply the study of numbers in the Bible. Two of the most repeated numbers are 7 and 40, 7 signifying completion or perfection, and 40 being understood as the number of probation or trial. The Israelites wandered for 40 years, Moses was on the mount for 40 days, Jesus was tempted for 40 days, and there's many more. And although the significance that numbers really do have is still debated in many circles, we have to be careful not to put too much focus on numerology and find a special meaning in everything. Many times in the Bible, numbers are simply numbers. And there is more than enough truth in the words and meanings of Scripture to meet all our needs without having to decipher secret codes. But let's continue. Well, once you start hearing God speak through numbers, oh my. Once you turn it on, you cannot turn it off. You start hearing God speak through the license plates in front of you. You'll be, you'll be at Kroger and go, what the, look, God's talking to me uh, through everything around you. And you really start to learn how to acknowledge him in all your ways. And then he directs your steps. It's just awesome. So this is where it starts getting a bit strange because there are many non-Christians that give secret meanings to numbers as well. We see this from Sally Myers, and she says five is a time for change, six is taking responsibility. And if we go to her site, we see that she's some new ager into self-God realization. We also see a belief in what's called angel numbers and special meanings behind them. And this kind of numerology with angels or spirit guides is 100% occult and a form of fortune telling which the Bible condemns in many passages. 
The next part is him explaining how God loves numbers. He loves to multiply, he loves to divide, he loves to add, he loves to subtract, and he loves to count things. You know, whenever you read the book of Revelation, it's just all about counting everything. Everything is counted. Emily, you know, even the, the number of the hair on your head is counted, and it all glorifies the Lord, right? And so, how it glorifies the Lord is God says, look at this great number. And then when you look at the number, if you understand what the numbers actually mean, meaning that the numbers are also prophetic words. So just because the hairs of your head are numbered has nothing to do with numbers being prophetic and certainly not through license plates. Don't get worried that the next time you see number 40 on a license plate that God is actually getting you ready for some trials and persecution. These are his words without a Bible verse to actually back up his theory. That's what these people do. They take one verse using numbers in relation to the number of hairs on your head and then twist it into what they really want you to think. So then when you begin to study things, you begin to look at, okay, like Ecclesiastes chapter 3, it gives, you know, there's a time and season for everything, right? Yes. You know, to everything, turn, 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 right? right? Okay, so there it is. But if you count those, there's 28 of those. So 28 is a number that means times and seasons. Wow. And then once you see it all the way through the Bible, every time that there's anything written 28 times, it has to do with times and seasons. Even the word times is in the Bible 28 times. Even the word weeks is in the Bible 28 times. You know, there's, there is the word courage is in the Bible 28 times, that you and I are supposed to have courage in every single time and season in life. Okay, I, when I was looking all this up, I, again, I count everything, because I'm like, there you are, King Jesus. I see you, man. The word cross is in the Bible, Emily, exactly 28 times, and that means He has guaranteed us incredible supernatural victory, no matter the time, no matter the season. Okay, so he's once again making up stuff like, because the word cross appears 28 times, that God has guaranteed us incredible, supernatural victory, no matter the time, no matter the season. He has guaranteed us incredible supernatural victory, no matter the time, no matter the season. Well, that sure does sound like what itching ears want to hear, but is that what the Bible teaches us? That because the cross is mentioned 28 times, God guarantees us incredible supernatural victory no matter the time or season? I don't remember the apostles teaching us anything of the sort. Oh, and I did a quick search to see about the words he mentioned. He said times was in the Bible 28 times. Hmm, nope, 186 times. Weeks was in there 28 times. Nope, only 18. What about courage 28 times? That one's 46 times. And even if it was a different Bible version, I feel confident that they would not all match up. But let's continue. One of the things that God will do is He'll start speaking to you in this amazing repetition. And you keep hearing it and you can't get away from it. And sometimes that'll be in the form of a number. And that is alarming to some people. Why am I seeing this number all the time? I get so many letters from people all over the world, Emily, saying, what is 222? I keep seeing 22, or I keep seeing the number 222, or number 2222. Maybe you saw a new pizza ad, or maybe God wants you to eat pizza. Just saying. Or what's 111? I can't get away from 111. What are those things? And you know, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2, it says, It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out the matter. And I think that any time that we're aware, okay, no, this is not just my humanity. This is the Lord moving within my humanity. I don't understand it. You have to search it out. Mm. So once again, he's connecting seeing numbers to Proverbs. I don't think that's the context, but even if you did see a number over and over, you might just want to say, Lord, is there a reason I'm seeing this number so often? And I'm pretty sure that he'll let you know if it is important. Now, he goes on to prophesy about 2021 and talk about number meanings and stuff like that, but I'm going to just say, stick with reading your Bible and praying to God for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He also does a deal on the Sid Roth show about time travel, and I'm not even going to get into that, but wanted to at least show it in connection to this one because he does sell the same product. 
and he includes info about his 90-minute meeting with Jesus. Through Troy Brewer's powerful brand new book, you will learn how you can invite Jesus into your personal timeline to supernaturally redeem your past and miraculously prepare your future. The book includes prayers and exercises to help you redeem your times of loss into gain, failure into success, and more. You will also receive his two-part DVD set, Supernatural Keys to Redeeming Your Timeline. You will get to know Jesus as the creator of time, space, and matter. Change your present, future, and the destiny of your generation. Gain supernatural skill sets for healing past wounds, calming future anxieties, and discovering rest in the now. Plus, you will receive Troy Brewer's audio CD teaching, Five Gifts from Jesus. Troy provides a vivid account of his 93-minute encounter with Jesus, the specific five gifts he received, including their purpose and application. Troy prays for an impartation of these gifts and walks you through specific prayers to receive each one of them. Plus, you will receive this bonus declaration card. This handy card includes powerful prayers, declarations, and scriptures for redeeming your time. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's supernatural. Don't do it.